What's up, photo freaks? I'm Matt DeConti. Welcome to episode 10. Today we're coming to you from the house that was used in the movie Halloween. Right behind me is where Michael Myers did most of his action when he was going after people, trying to butcher them. So happy Halloween with that. Um, today we're going to talk to you about aperture. That's uh, one of the important attributes in the exposure triangle. For more on the exposure triangle, you can click on one of our other videos to tell you a little bit about that. And we're going to tell you and show you how, uh, how it uses light to help you with the pictures. Um, so aperture and f-stop. F-stop is the set of numbers that determines how much light is, uh, comes into your camera through the lens. Um, so with the camera, at the front you have the lens, at the back you have the sensor and in between is the iris and the iris is a circular shield that has a hole in the center that is called the aperture and uh, it opens and closes to, a, to um, a set amount, a specific amount that you decide which uh, will let you know and uh, how much light you have in. So that is your aperture, iris and f-stop. Um, with the f-stop scale, the numbers of every major point, it either doubles or halves, depending on if you're going up the scale or down the scale. So the amount of light will either double or it's going to have. Um, as we, let's see here, as we look further into the aperture, it actually is based on fractions, which is pretty uninteresting. So, but I'll go ahead and let you know what it is anyways. Um, the area of the aperture doubled equals, equals the diameter of the square root of 2. So every time you go up an aperture size, this occurs. Uh, when you do the opposite and you divide by the square root of 2, you get half the light. What's up? Yeah, we got some people here checking out the Halloween house. Welcome to Photo Freaks. Yeah, we're actually going over the... Uh, the Michael Myers house behind us and then we got one across the street too so yeah thanks for watching check it out on YouTube yeah yeah you'll be in it <laughs> yeah so um, <laughs> that was pretty cool right we got some more fans I like it um, so back to where we were so when you do the opposite and you divide by the square root of two you get half the light uh, in terms of fractions that was actually really awesome couldn't have better timing. Uh, the numerator is the focal length of your lens. The denominator is the measurement of the diameter of the opening of the iris. I don't even care. This doesn't matter. I'm a photographer, not a mathematician. I'm never going to have to explain that. So what's the point of that? So let's get down to it. So today we're going to go over uh, some pictures and we have a special guest who's going to actually help us take some pictures to demonstrate aperture and uh yeah it looks like he's coming in here right now oh god yeah yeah whoa 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 bring it down bring it down okay take it easy michael myers is is actually here in front of us with us the halloween house so we're gonna take some pictures hello michael how's it going take it easy we've gotten a little a little bit of put on a little bit of weight there so um Anyways, we're not going to uh, make you wait any further. We're going to take some pictures and we'll be right back. Okay, so before we get started on these photographs, uh, some things I need to let you know is the images, the photographs were shot with a Sony A7R2 and the lens was an 85 1.4 G Master uh, by Sony. Awesome lens, great camera. Um, and as far as aperture, when you're looking at your Nikon and your Sony, on the top of the dial button is going to be an A. That's for aperture priority or just aperture. And uh, Canon will be AV. So leave it to Canon to mix it up. That's for uh, aperture value. So um, anyways... The uh, the settings that we're looking at here, it's got the f-stop, the ISO, and the shutter speed or shutter priority. Uh, when you're in aperture mode, the uh, f-stop 
is what you're going to be adjusting, but the ISO and the shutter priority are going to be uh, automatically set or they're automatically going to adjust according to whatever f-stop uh, you use. So it's going to be able to detect the lighting and whatever changes it needs that needs to be made, it's going to make it for you. So it's really cool and really helpful to see this. So that way, when you are getting more into manual mode, uh, you're, you can kind of remember what type of adjustments that you should be making depending on the lighting and the f-stop. So yeah, follow along and uh, take note of the adjustments that the camera is making automatically. So this first shot here is uh, f-stop is in 1.4. Your ISO is automatically set to 1250 and your shutter is 1 1 1 hundredth of a second. Um, the 1.4 looks really cool, really buttery smooth, nice blur in the background. You got Michael Myers looking. It looks pretty, really, really clear. Everything looks nice in this shot. So um, I always try and get that f-stop as low as I can go as long as it looks good and shoot in that low f-stop mode. Um, so you got 1.4, ISO 1250, and shutter priority 1, 1, 1 hundredth of a second. That's a tongue twister. All right, let's, uh, let's check out the next picture. Okay, so now we're on f2.8. Uh, I skipped f2 because there's very, very slight changes. And I want to go to the ones with the more distinct change. So f2.8, your ISO is now 6400. And uh, shutter speed is 1 one hundredth of a second. Um, you could tell that uh, the background's getting just a little bit more in focus but uh, you still have that nice blur and um, Michael, My Michael Myers is, is still looking clear. This would be probably, if I'm not mistaken, what would be the sweet spot for this lens. Uh, again, it's usually two stops above the lowest f-stop. So um, the 2.8 would be the one. Um, everything looks really, really clean here. I love this picture. And uh, yeah, those are your... Uh, your f-stop, ISO, and shutter priority numbers. Let's check out the next photo. Okay, so now we're at f4. Uh, your ISO has stayed the same, 6400, and uh, the camera is now adjusting shutter priority uh, to 1 50th of a second. So, um, yeah, just a little bit sharper. It's slowly getting sharper. Uh, Michael Myers is still looking good. Um, that's the F4, ISO 6400, shutter priority 1 50th of a second. And we're going to move along to the next picture. Okay, so now we're going up to F8. We are um, at F8, ISO 6400. ISO stayed the same. And to be honest, that's kind of what I expected. Usually you don't, it won't go higher than 6400. Uh, and then you have your shutter priority or shutter speed, uh, whichever one to call it, at 1 13th of a second. So that's that's where you're noticing the change here. And um, the, uh, the house from Halloween is now getting much more in focus. Uh, Michael Myers is still in focus. There's not much loss there. Um, I think maybe if he zoomed in, I might see some subtle changes, but, but not much. Um, and a uh, <clears throat> thing to keep in mind too, as you are changing that shutter priority and the rest of the image is coming into focus, you're, you tend to not have your subject be the center of attention. You start looking around a little bit. So keep that in mind if, if that's something that you wanna do, if you wanna have that background in focus or not, or if you want the subject to be solely in the uh, center and center of attention. So those are measurements for F8 and uh, let's move on. Okay, so F11, now we're, things are really getting into focus for the, for the house. Um, your ISO is again, staying at 6,400 and shutter speed, shutter priority at one fifth. Uh, you can definitely see that 
there's lack of sharpness with Michael Myers in this shot. So it's definitely becoming more noticeable, even for an 85 mil 1.4. Um, <clears throat> but it's still a pretty good picture, definitely usable, especially if it's not um, blown up too large. But that would be F11. Again, ISO 6400, shutter priority 1 -fifth. And uh, we'll move on to our last image, which is going to be uh, F16. Okay, so F16, here's our last image. And you can definitely see the quality of the image has gone down. Uh, your ISO stayed at 64, and uh, shutter is at one third. Uh, your shutter is working really hard to, uh, your shutter priority, your shutter speed is working hard to <clears throat> adjust to keep that picture at the best possible quality, but it's just not going to be as good as the lower F stop numbers. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so that's, that's that image. Um, those are the f-stop uh, options that we have to show you. Um, hopefully this was helpful and hopefully it uh, gives you stuff to think about when you uh, start to get into manual mode as to what uh, adjustments you'll be making. Okay, so now you've had an opportunity to see uh, the different f-stops and what happens when you adjust the aperture. Um, so just to let you know the most common apertures, okay our f-stops are that are used are 1 1.4 2.8 uh 1 1.42 2.84 5.6 8 11 16 22 and 32 so those are going to be the most common um a quick tip though i, I wanted to add um every lens does have a sweet spot uh, so usually it's going to be uh, two about a couple of stops above the minimum f-stop number that's where you're going to uh, be able to find it but test it out um, if you want to pause your camera or uh, pause the video and go check it out try a couple of shots go for it now's a good time to do it um, okay so you can also go to to check out your sweet spot you can go to a website called dxomark.com and what you'll do is you'll select your lens, click measurements, click sharpness, and then click profiles. And it will tell you uh, where the orange line is. You'll be able to see where your sweet spot is on your lens, which is really, really cool, really helpful. Um, so that's almost it for the show. I do have, <laughs> I do have some something special planned. So uh, one of my things that I like to do is watch YouTube videos and I love the show Hot Ones. So since it's Halloween and we have our friend Michael Myers who's caused so many people pain, uh, I got this special buffalo wing hot sauce he's going to try out for you today. It's called Blair's Megadeth Sauce with Liquid Rage. So what we've done is we got a hot wing for Mr. Michael Myers here, and uh, he's going to try it out for us. So, are you ready, Michael? Yes, and we got some milk too. So, let's try this out. I'm gonna I'm gonna help Michael lift up his mask a little bit here. Yeah. Okay. You got that? Okay. So, take 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 the wing in. You got it? Mm -hmm. Okay. There you go. Yeah. That was a Michael. Pretty good. Looks like he's actually doing pretty well. You feeling pretty good? Not too hot? No. You need the milk? You need the milk? Let's know. Okay, and we're back. Sorry about that technical issue. Apparently, Mr. Myers wasn't happy. Uh, but uh, anyways, that's it for Photo Freaks and uh, Aperture. Uh, <laughs> I hope you guys are having a good time, as much as fun as we are. And um, 
thank you for for following us and subscribing and liking um, you can also find us on instagram at photo freaks and zombie and um, yeah if you want to check out some of my work you can go to decontiphoto.com uh, click the like button subscribe and uh, keep watching We've got a lot more crazy episodes coming up so thanks again we're out peace